so I want to talk a little bit about our three foundation classes that we have people take so that they can experience the work, learn from the work, practice the work, and then they can decide if they want to do the certifications. And there are several certifications to do. We in the postural assessment are looking at tilts of high low. We're looking at shifts from right to left, front to back and up to down. We're looking at tilts from the side view as well and the back view. We're looking at rotations because there may be one area of the body that is really doing so much rotation and that creates a strain pattern to the rest of the body above it, for example. So these tools of having tracks, tracks of alignment and placement and rotation and tilts can really assist the practitioner not only to see what's going on and start to already be problem solving, but as practitioners, they can look at themselves in the mirror and start to see, wait a minute, no wonder my back is hurting me. Look at the way I'm standing. I had no idea. I've just been complaining about the same area in my back. And I didn't realize I have to neutralize myself when I finish a bodywork session. If I let those sessions accumulate, I could be in trouble by the end of the week. When you can see the body pattern, and start to ask the client to do a few little things like inhale or push off their feet or transfer their weight from side to side, you begin to assess, aha, that side doesn't change at all, whether they go right or left. It stays in the same relationship to the other half of the chest. Or that high-low doesn't change when they move to their right foot or to their left foot. It stays the same. What is it that might be causing that? And because we add this kind of basic investigation, we assess the body not only by seeing and listening and reading their history, we have ways of simply palpating. And in even our beginning classes, we start the ideas of palpating to see, is there tension in that area or is it too loose? because some people drop down on an area because there isn't enough tone. Some people drop down on an area because it's so tight it holds them. But even so, my complaint to you coming into postural assessment could be here. This is what's bothering me. I really need this work done, right? And you say, hmm, I wonder if this high-low on the opposite side is just loading this. What happens if you stand on this towel? Does that pain lessen? And they often say, yes. <laughs> so it's the link that's missing on this right side. But it's just so fun when you have these skills because being able to see the placement of body segments in relationship to another, being able to see the stance and the movement of someone and how they use their body in those segments and how they might over be overusing one side more than the other. It really starts to give you this idea of how important it is to chart what you see with it. So the first course is really about assessing the body pattern and giving you tools to look at the dimension of the body, the position of the body, the shifts in the body, the rotations in the body, and be able to select what gives you a concise conclusion to start your session. So even what you do in the 101 class as a student, you learn one of our very basic arcing exercises on how to reset your body. So you've got seeing, and also some tools. And this is a course that teaches people how to look for body patterns and similar relationships in the body, whether it's 
the dimensional changes of one part of the body is increased from a great deal of flexion, for example, in this pattern, why the chest is narrow and short in front, but is wide and long in back. And their complaint might even be something about they're not able to breathe very well. They've taken up a new exercise class and they run out of room with their breath all the time and they think something's drastically wrong. And it could be that they just need some assessment to figure this out with their therapist and how they might be able to increase this dimension of their chest and its function to facilitate the back and the whole body. And M201, the moving of outer body, is available online now as a webinar. So this makes this really accessible. Uh, our classes have been you know, live for so many decades and to be able to offer these classes online is just fantastic. So moving on to the second class, the Aston moving the fascial body is teaching people that once they have this assessment skill, teaching them how to apply certain basic movement patterns to assist people on how to find neutral or assist people how to neutralize something that is stressful or how to work all day with body work and reset themselves be before they take their tired, exhausted body home and lift the children and cook the dinner and do all of the things that need to be done from a compressed, compromised, overworked body. The moving class teaches people how to find their neutral, how to include the body from the foot to the top of the head and beyond by understanding the, how to play between the forces of gravity and ground reaction. The third class is a 301. And this is actually feeling and palpating the fascial body for integration and teaching people how to do a three-dimensional touch using the forces of gravity and ground reaction to do, do and palpating the fascial body for integration and teaching people how to do a three-dimensional touch using the forces of gravity and ground reaction to do the dance that is required to keep the body moving in that push and that pulling and that lift and that, re that relaxation, that we can do all of these movements so by the end of the day, that as the practitioner is dancing in their body, doing this stroke and mo moving their arm, moving their elbow through their feet as well, they suddenly discover the value of the ground in helping the body dance all the way through. I've always loved it that people say when they take the classes, particularly the thrill, when they say, Judith, you're teaching us to dance. And I said, that's what it is. It's your dance doing your body work system. And it's just so much fun. So when people learn to use these skill sets, and as I said, two of them, the APA 101 and the Aston Movement 201 are online now. We do not teach body work online as we need you in the present time, three-dimensionally present, so we can assist you with your pattern and your learning and things happen so fast. Uh, in live classes. So please look us up for all three classes. This is the newest book, the Aston Postural Assessment, that people use for the 101 training. Once they understand the value of postural assessment of their clients, of their children, of themselves, they will use this forever they would be looking at one track, like the front, or they'd look at the side and they'd want to fix that. But once I introduced this idea, that one side track is part of a 360 by 360 
degree pattern. See if you can make the connection on how important that is for your problem solving. And that would be what the training was to help them learn to do that. So a lot of times people have so many ahas in that APA 101 class just because they just haven't considered those ideas in problem solving their clients. The client, of course, mainly wants us to work on the pain area, which many times can make it worse because it's being controlled by something else. So for example, this pattern I just took on here, and I come to you because I have back pain. Could it be relieved if this were able to let go a little bit and let this lengthen, for example? And we have ways to teach you to do that, to help people find their neutral, for example. But I just wanted to add some of those ideas for you that are thinking about taking the APA 101 Postural Assessment Online. It's a two-day class. I invite you to look us up, astinkinetics.com. Email us at office at astinkinetics.com. Go to our practitioners list and look up practitioners in your area. So we look forward to hearing from you.